Let me start this video by saying I am not a touch me not stud, so the angle of this video will be from a stud who likes to be touched and fucked. Well. From the beginning of the video, off the bat, I just want to mention and say clearly that I am not a touch me not stud. I'm like so far from that. I like to get pleased just as much as I'm pleasing my bitch. Beauty on the beach. All you touch me not studs out there I can definitely say this one part you definitely don't know what you're missing if I touch you right here and it feels good you should touch me right there and it should feel good <laughs> you know what I mean like you touch the right spot I touch the right spot and we, we just do it just like that don't get me wrong I've said this again and again and again if she don't know what she doing do you need to make her get up and bounce but if she knows what she's doing, it's an amazing experience. If it comes down to you doing something I don't like, then that's another story. Like where it's just like, whoa, what, what, where's your finger? Whoa, take it out. I don't, <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I first started out um, in the lesbian community, I thought that I would be a touch me not stud simply because I wasn't comfortable with my body. And I'm not saying that that's the issue with a lot of you out there that have touched me not studs. I'm just saying for me, I was uncomfortable so I didn't want other people to see me or take off my clothing and see my skin because I'm not particularly skinny, but at the same time I'm not a big motherfucker. You don't really know why the next stud uh, don't like to be touched, you know, they can have personal reasons behind that, you know, as far as like they pass, maybe they got touched the wrong way or and they just haven't um gotten over that or you know some some studs are are, are insecure about their bodies or whatnot and you know they just don't like their partner touching you know, or they just don't feel comfortable with that part of sexual conduct but for real it only took one girl to show me what I was missing and I was on that ride every time like hey bitch come get me. That didn't touch me now. I just I just I just can't be part of that life. Sexually I like to be pleased. On a side note, on camera and all that, when it comes down to straps, uh, I'm not I'm not per se honestly I'm not I'm not a big fan of dildos and straps and plastic dick and all that. I can't fuck with no girl with no strap. Um, now, if I'm with a girl and I like her enough to actually go purchase one and use it, okay, but as far as it being used on me, I'm good on that. You can keep that. I have tried it and I've had I've had good experience and bad experience, so I can't really throw it out the cage. I guess I guess you can say that I can't I can't throw it out the cage, but I'll say, when it comes to straps, I have to be comfortable with my sex partner. Because I don't fuck with straps, that means your head game has to be on point. Like, fingers, okay, depending on the girl, but your head has to be top-notch shit, though. Head, oh, head has to be on point. Then it just kind of makes no sense. Like, I'd rather just not even be on top of me. Alright, just, just, just get up. It's, it's no point, like, what's the point? If it's not good, what's the point? It's just waste of time. But y'all know who I be. It's your girl, Chief Free. Shout out to my girl, Kay, for doing this collab video with me. All the links to us are in the description box below. Come follow us. Come add us. Come double tap some of our pictures. But until next time, we out this bitch. Deuces.